Hello Digital Educator and welcome to this very short but hopefully very helpful session for you here in which we're going to talk about how you can take a shortened URL and to expand it to find the original link. Now URLs that are shortened can be super, super effective and I use them a lot myself, especially if you want to point people to directions where the string of the URL isn't 10 miles long, we have to fit in a small text box, or if it's something that you have to have people type in themselves. It's a lot easier to use a URL shortener. Plus, additional benefits is that if you're using a URL shortener, then you can keep track of how many people click, where they're from. A lot of good data comes out of that that you're not going to get from, say, like a, a link to a Google Doc. So the problem is, though, a lot of school districts are now blocking through their filter URL shorteners like Bitly, et cetera because you simply don't know what they are pointing at. That's what they'll say. Like you could be pointing to uh, an exe file that could lead to malware. Very, very valid point. And so with that, we need to know how to unpack because you can't simply say, okay, well, I sorry, I can't do this presentation. Not sorry, I can't do this PD because I uh, don't have the ability to open these shortened URLs. So here's gonna be a way to be able to do it. So. You have, first have to get to the link that you have. It could be a bit.ly, a Google, tiny URL, owly, t.co, whatever they're going to be. That shortened URL. All it does is take the long, long one and it condenses it down. So it's basically like a stop gap in between the two. It just redirects you to a different page. So you're gonna copy what that link is and then direct your browser over to unshorten.me. Pretty easy to remember, unshorten me. Then you take the link that you wanted, you paste it into the box, you click unshorten, and then you, what you're gonna find is the original URL from the page that you can use however you need it to be. So let's take a look at this one in action to see how it actually works. So I've already gone over to unshorten.me that you can find. Inside of the unshorten any URL box here, I put in a bit.ly link that we use this fall for our asynchronous PD. So bit.ly forward slash SLL async PD. All these asynchronous PD offerings were in a learning menu that was inside of this. So now that that's pasted in there, all I have to click is unshorten. Uh, we may, <laughs> may have to prove the fact that we are indeed a human. So I see some tractors here. I see a tractor there. Um, I don't think it's a tractor. I think that's a trailer. Let's click verify. I guess that is a tractor. And now, since I can identify tractors, we find where our destination URL is right here, which you can copy and then paste. But you also can click visit website and it'll take you right to that URL and everything works like that. So I hope this quick, easy, guilty little tip helps you out when you get into the situation where you need it. Keep this one in the back of your mind. If you need help, remember our model school staff is always here to help.